Hi, it's Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Steam Lab, and here's a video for students about how to resubmit their work. So we're going to look at, uh, this is a student view of Google Classroom. To resubmit your work, you're going to want to redo the work first. So there's a, a number of ways to do that. You can watch my previous video about making changes. But if I go in here to Classwork and I click on View Your Work, you can see that the assignments that I have might want to resubmit because maybe I'm not happy with the grades. Let's start with this this quiz here. It's a Google Google Form quiz, and if I click View Details here, it takes me to the actual assignment. You see, I've got a resubmit button, but I got to retake the quiz first. When I click on here though to retake the quiz, it's going to tell me I've already responded once, and the teacher set this to fill that out, so I can only fill it out once. So if I want to retake this quiz, I'm going to need to contact the teacher. Um, you can watch my video about how to uh, ask questions or just type a private comment right here. That would do it. For your other assignments, so for, for other assignment types, let's go back to view your work. And we're not going to use the overhang quiz this time. Uh, but let's look at this one down here. This is a question type assignment. Um, you can see that I got a 4 out of 5 and there's this comment, where does the shape come from? To change any assignment, you're going to want to get to the actual assignment, so I'm going to click View Details. You can see for this type of answer, I can't edit this anymore because it's been graded. So the way I have my students is I have them post a private comment. So if the teacher asks a follow-up question, maybe I can get that last point if I say something like, you design it on the computer. Let's send that in and see what that does for me. Let's go through and let's resubmit some more work. I'm going to go back through to classwork and to view my work. Um, so I've, I've taken care of this one. Now let's look at one that's a little bit more straightforward. So if I have an assignment like this one right here, there's no work attached here, but I imagine that it was graded like there was work attached. So if I click view details here, it, when I when I, my assignment has been graded, I, this says resubmit. So I probably need to ch do something, change something, in order to get my originality and completeness to be higher. And if it's a file, I can add the file from either Google Drive or from my device by clicking File and clicking Select Files from Device. So you always want to resubmit those files and then when you if you don't press resubmit what happens is the teacher doesn't know that there's a new file there especially if you've replaced a file with the same name with a new file with the same name if you press resubmit it goes back into the the pile that says grading uh i'm sorry turned in for the teacher instead of having it in the graded pile so the teacher knows that there's something to look at if your teacher's allowing you to resubmit things so let's go through that again test class at home classwork view your work this is that's a pattern that i do all often Last one, if you've got the file and it's on Google Classroom um, as a Google Doc, like this one is, you got to make those changes in here first. So that's what I've already done. I've already made these changes in here. So I can either press Turn In right in the Google Doc because it's actually attached to Google Classroom and then a Turn In button shows up right here and it takes me back to Google Classroom and I can press Turn In. Or I can just press View Details and press Resubmit. So that's how I'd resubmit that file. It tells me I'm re resubmitting this one file. I hit turn in, and you can tell I've resubmitted it because now it says unsubmit. If it says unsubmit, that means I've already resubmitted the work. So that's how you can communicate back and forth with your teacher. Watch some of my other videos about how to use Google Classroom with your, uh, with your teacher and how you can communicate with them.